In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint a simple but lovely fall wreath using watercolors that's beginner friendly and the perfect thing to paint in the fall season. Usually I will start by tracing something round like a plate, but this time I'm just freehanding a circle with my pencil so I have a general circle shape as a guide to follow. And the paper I'm using is Canson Cold Press Watercolor Paper. And then these are Princeton Heritage round brushes, and I have a size 8 and then a size 4 for smaller details. I'm starting this wreath as I start pretty much every wreath that I paint, which is by sketching in some branches with the tip of my brush. It's just a starting point for painting the rest of the wreath, and then I can start adding leaves and filling out the wreath as I go. I've switched to my size 8 brush now. It's just a little bigger and now I'm going to start painting leaves using yellow. So one of the ways that I like to make a wreath like this look more interesting is to always vary things. So I vary the color, the shades of color, so not just one flat yellow color, but sometimes it'll have a little more brown in it, sometimes it'll have maybe a little more orange. And then I also vary the values. So you'll notice that some of the leaves are lighter and darker than others. So just by letting the color run out on your brush or rinsing out your brush a little bit will lighten the color. And when you have darker leaves and then lighter leaves and you vary the color, that makes a painting look much more interesting and varied than if you just painted everything with one flat color without varying any of it. Just going to start adding leaves wherever I want to add them without worrying whether or not there's a branch that it's attached to because I'll go in and paint in extra branches later. I'm just going to fill in space and put leaves where I want them to go so there's a balanced amount of these yellow leaves all around the wreath. And then I'll switch to the next color, in this case orange, and do the same thing. Most of the leaves have dropped from the trees around where I am, but of course Thanksgiving is still coming and I'm still enjoying painting all the fall things and using the warm fall color palettes.
Now I've moved on to adding red leaves and another thing you can do to vary things up so not only change up the colors and the values but you can also change up the size so purposely make some leaves bigger and smaller than others and I'm just going in and filling in spaces sprinkling the red leaves evenly around and filling out this wreath I love painting wreaths so much because there aren't hard decisions to make when you're painting one. It's always just a matter of picking something to add to the wreath, like a leaf, and then painting it over and over again, and scattering it around, and just putting things wherever you feel like they should go so that the wreath looks balanced. There's so much less pressure and decision making than if you're painting, say, something like a flower arrangement or especially a landscape. That's part of why painting wreaths is so fun for me. I've switched back to my size 4 brush and the brown color I was using earlier to paint in some branches wherever some leaves need that connection to the rest. And then I'm also going in and painting in little sprigs of branches to paint berries on next. So I'm just mixing up some red and purple to make a nice dark kind of cranberry color and now I'm painting little berries on the ends of those branches. Again, just putting them wherever I feel like they need to go. And then the last thing I'm going to add to this wreath is a little bit of green just to balance out all of the warm colors that are happening. Still using my size 4, I'm using a green color and just painting sprigs, little leafy sprigs tucked in all throughout the wreath. Wherever I want it to be more full or wherever there's a gap, I'm just adding a sprig of green. There are so many things you could add to a fall wreath. You could paint pine cones or acorns or any other fall thing you wanted to add to it, but sometimes it's nice to just paint something really simple and easy without trying to be elaborate in what you add to it. Once you're coming to the end of painting a wreath, just take a step back and look at what you've painted and then you can add anything more to it that you want to add. So if it's looking a little lopsided or empty in one area, just add a few more leaves. So I'm going back in and adding just a few more leaves here and there wherever I feel like I need to fill in a little bit of extra space to make it look more full.
and then I even started adding some some greenish brownish leaves too and this was actually great because it added a little more contrast sometimes if you look at your painting and wonder why it looks so flat and boring sometimes all it needs is more contrast so just add a darker color to it and sometimes that's all you need to bring out some contrast And this was the point where I decided to call this finished. You can also, of course, add something inside of the wreath. Sometimes a wreath just looks like it's begging to have something in the middle of it. So I decided to do a little bit of watercolor lettering and add a fall phrase inside this wreath. Typically I do erase the pencil lines, but in this case I didn't, so you can still see some of those showing through. But that's a simple and fun fall wreath idea that you can paint, and I hope that you're enjoying the season wherever you are. <music> 